Hi everybody, it's Jody here and welcome back to my channel or hello for the very first time. I look a disheveled mess and I have no makeup on because we have been working on home renovations and I have been painting. I gotta show you guys my shirt. <laughs> I have been painting, so no makeup on. I am between coats. Time just got away from me and I wanted to post another video for this week so I decided you guys don't need me to have a full face of makeup on to share a haul. It's just, it's just stuff I bought. So <laughs> we're gonna do this totally free form on, you know, unfiltered, lovely face. Um, I will say that part of my decision to do this had a lot to do with a video that was posted by Lex from Made You Look. I'm gonna post a link to that video down below because I thought it was a really amazing message and it gave me, kind of inspired me to feel confident and comfortable just coming on here, being me and doing it. So after Christmas time, I had some gift cards. <laughs> So I did a little bit of damage at Sephora, not a heck of a lot, a little bit. I am going to show you one thing that should have been in my Christmas haul. It's this, the Too Faced Sweet Peach, uh, what do they call it, Papa Don't Peach Blush. Now this somehow got mixed up in my stocking stuffer stuff in my husband's, so it went MIA. It's got a little mirror in the top, it looks like this. I haven't even used this yet. Guys, I haven't even put on makeup since the last time I filmed, so like five days, it's insane. But it's right there, I'm not sure how well it's gonna show up on the camera, but it's pretty, it's shimmery, it smells stinking good, so I don't know, I hope it works well. I got a couple point perk sets, I got this one here, this is the Clinique set that they had. Um, the reason that I got it is you guys know I love my Pep Start eye cream. Um, the Clinique High Impact Mascara is one of my all-time ride or die favorite mascaras, but I really, really wanted to try this exfoliating scrub and the moisturizer, which is more why I got the kit, and that'll just keep me with a little of my favorite mascara and my favorite eye cream for traveling, like just a good, easy little size to take with me. Uh, the other thing that I picked up was the Peter Thomas Roth set. Now last year, here I'll hold it up for you. Last year I bought around Christmas time kind of a set that had these masks and I love this cucumber mask in the winter time. It's so good, so I really wanted it again. But there was an anti-aging cleansing gel, the Mega Rich anti-aging uh, cream, which, you know, I, I'm getting up there in age. I need that. And then a firm peeling gel. Now, face peels, at-home face peels have always made me nervous. But everything I've tried from Peter Thomas Roth, I've really enjoyed. So I figured if I was going to try to do a face peel at home again, this was a good little trial size. And from a company I've had really good luck with. So... Cross your fingers there. Okay, so the next thing that I got is these little brow shaping scissors and brush from Tweezerman. I really needed good, um, some brow scissors. Like, I, I, I needed scissors bad. I think I may have said tweezers. I meant to say scissors. I needed some really, really badly. I have, I'm gonna be totally honest with you, um, when I've done my brows at all at home, I've been using a set from an old manicure set, which is probably a horrible thing to do, but I did it. For the Sephora uh, cleansing wipes, so I got them in two different kinds. I got the green tea, which is supposed to be good for mattifying and anti-blemish. Yes, please. And I also got the Yuzuzu cleansing wipe for revitalizing and toning. And apparently this one smells like lemon. So that was pretty much the selling feature. <laughs> More than the revitalizing and toning, it smells like lemons. Hello. I was kicking myself in the boot, <laughs> in the butt, because uh, during Christmas time, they had a couple sets with this and I've been wanting to try it. I hadn't tried it. I was walking through, you know, waiting in the lineup by the till and decided I would pick this up. This is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to try it. I've wanted one of these and I haven't had one. This is just the Sephora Lift Off Lash Comb. Just a little lash comb because 
don't know, I didn't have one. And I hear people talk about, and then if it gets clumpy, just comb through your lashes. So it folds out like this. I thought it was kind of handy and something, a good price point to try one out to see if it's something I would even use or like. <laughs> These are kind of embarrassing, but I have to show you. I got the Sephora Level Setter set of three razors. I ordered some from Amazon that apparently are coming from Timbuktu. I have no idea where they're actually coming from. I ordered them in November. They have still not arrived. I've been wanting to try these because I do get a little bit of peach fuzz kind of right down here and, and sort of kind of around the upper part of my eyebrows, kind of towards my hairline. And I've heard your makeup goes on much better if you shave your face. So I figured I would buy some of these, give them a shot and uh, see, see how it goes. See if I like it, see if it makes a difference. It's just peach fuzzy. Like it's nothing dark or anything. Like you wouldn't notice unless you're basically, you know, right up in my grill or you're me and, or touching my face. But, you know, I got the Flash Photo Gloss from Estee in it. Apparently, this is supposed to make your teeth look really white because it's got blue in it. I was skeptical, and since it was just a little point perk, I figured I'd pick one of these suckers up and give her a, give her a whirl and see if I think it actually does anything. I didn't have a really good red lip pencil. Like, I had some, but none that I was really excited about. So I picked up an Urban Decay 24-7. Glide on one, I got it in the color Bad Blood. Looks like this. Now I have had samples of some of these 24 seven uh, lip liners and I really kind of enjoyed them. So I thought this one would go with a lot of the reds that I already have in my collection. They went, on, they go on really, really smooth and I've enjoyed the samples. So I got one I can use. What else did I get here? Oh, I basically gave Marc Jacobs a whole bunch of money. <laughs> So I got one of the Marc Jacobs highliner lip, uh, eyeliners, I almost said lip liners, and I got it in the color Jazzberry. I got this because of Vintage or Tacky, Cora, she raves about it, and I haven't tried these, so I've been wanting to try it, and picking out a color is always hard for me, so it's right there. It's a beautiful, shimmery, purpley, but it has like kind of almost that kind of reddish berry undertone which makes my eyes look super green when I use anything in that kind of burnt or reddish or berry tone color so I thought this was a really pretty kind of shift to it and I really wanted to try those eyeliners so yes ma'am I was really really intrigued by these I ordered this one online this is one of the new the new Marc Jacobs the Marc liquid lipsticks and I got it in the color shush blush I really like that there's there's this little circle down below that shows you the color. I have worn this once just to kind of try it out and not for very long. So I didn't get like a day day use or anything out of it. I just kind of really wanted to see how the color would look on me. It's right there. I am really stinking impressed. These feel really nice. I haven't given it enough of a try, but um, yeah, from the one day couple hour trial I gave it, I think I'm gonna really like it. <laughs> I am. I did give Marc Jacobs some more money because, you know, that's just how I roll. I got another Marc Jacobs um, Enamored High Shine Lip Glosses. Now, I got this lip gloss. All of my lip glosses are pretty much in the same kind of color range. They're kind of either really, really pale, light, and sparkly. They've got uh, a peachy tone. A slightly mauvey tone or a slightly more pink tone but they're all very 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 light I've never used a darker lip gloss so I picked out this one and this one is in the color what color is this called uh, love drunk so I wanted to try out a darker lip gloss and the reason that I picked a Marc Jacob enamored lip gloss is because I really really like the formula so I figured if I was gonna step out of my comfort zone when it comes to gloss and not just use something light, that I wanted to get something in a, a formula I already knew that I loved, so it's right there. Ooh, these just smell so stinking minty good. I abs This is like my favorite lip gloss formula of life. So I figured this was a good color to try it out. Just try it out. And then the last couple things, shocker, 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 I got some uh, eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> Something new and exciting for me. So the first one I got is one of the Bare Minimal Minerals Ready Eyeshadow 8.0. This is part of their neutral collection. I think there's four different ones you can pick. I picked Posh 
posh neutrals. So this is what the top cover looks like. It's shiny as heck, but it's kind of a rose gold. It's kind of pretty, but the reason I picked it was more for the colors inside. Sorry, it comes with a little brush. The whole top end of this sucker is a mirror, but there's the colors there. Um, I've been very into grays and pinks. This only has one color that's super crazy, crazy dark, which if you're someone like me who has hooded eyes, well, not fully hooded eyes, but I do have slightly hooded eyes, but I also, on top of the hooded eyes, battle with the fact that they're very, very deep set eyes and that they're very, very small. That a lot of palettes or a lot of these small little eight pan or six pans come with a lot of really, really dark colors. So dark, dark colors just make me look all the time like I have a smoky eye. This one gave me a lot more mid-tone and lighter options to it. So I'm a little bit excited. I haven't even really swatched it. So I'm gonna use that a bit and maybe do a review on it. Like I'm, I'm a little excited about it. And the last palette that I got, and you guys will not be surprised by the fact that I jumped on this right away. I got the Urban Decay After Dark palette. Oh, Urban Decay was one of my favorite brands last year for eyeshadow palettes. I just loved them, minus the full spectrum palette. But <laughs> other than that, I really enjoyed pretty much everything they came out with. The packaging on this is going to shine the heck out of you, but I'm just going to kind of move it so you guys can see sort of that rainbow iridescent effect oh my god so stinking pretty the inside does come with hawk and huge mirror at the top uh the standard kind of urban decay style brush in there and then these are the shadows right here holy cow you guys know me and my bright colors and holy i swatched this in the store but i haven't even stuck my fingers in my own um, some of these colors, from what I understand, are regular colors that they already have. You can buy them as, as singles. And then there are a few in here that are independent, uh, new ones. I'm just going to grab a couple of the colors here to swatch just because I want you guys to see why this got me so excited in this store. So here are three of the colors here. The top one is Supersonic, followed by Lounge, and then Fringe. These just made my little heart go pitter, 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 freaking pat. Oh, I love bright colors. I like shiny colors. This is just all of my favorite things wrapped up into one. So I am really, really excited to get digging in here and playing with it. All right, guys. Well, that's it. We have finished my Sephora gift card, Christmas gift card haul. I have a little bit of gift card money left, but I'm waiting to see kind of what comes out for, for springtime and some of the upcoming releases before I decide what I want to use the rest of it on. Other than that, guys, I just wanted to let you know that I will be going back to work in just a slightly over a week. So we will be changing my upload days from Sunday, Wednesday. I'm going to change it over to Monday and Thursday just because I think that might give me a little bit more time as I'm adjusting to getting back to work to be able to film and edit and things and uh, provide you guys still with two videos a week without feeling overly restricted or strained at all. Um, I have been off work for a little while now due to some MS treatment that I took, which completely basically wiped out my immune system. So I've had to stay under kind of quarantine for a little while. So I'm excited to get back out and be a productive member of society again. I've been sitting on my ass on the couch far too long. So keep an eye out starting next week. My videos will be posted on Mondays and Thursdays. Other than that, guys, if there's any products here that I hauled today that you would like reviewed, please let me know in the comment section down below. And I will be sure to try and get a review out and get that done for you guys. I am almost done the painting process. So we'll be back to putting painting my face instead of my walls soon enough. Uh, thank you guys for being so understanding of my disheveled mess of a self right now. <laughs> I'll put it, I promise I will put makeup on for the next video. <laughs> Other than that guys, you guys know the drillio. If you guys enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. And other than that guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I will see you all next time. Toofy? <clears throat> okay. God, what is with these fingerprints from hell? I'm gonna get paint on it. Why did I buy this? Whew, I can't pronounce half the stuff on this label.
Soleil, Genera, I have no idea. Obviously, Spanish is not my forte. Highliner, highliner, my God. Shoot, the top of this. I'm just wiping off on my boob. God, I'm classy. That color just jumps out, smacks you in the face. Look at that. God, I just stuck my fingers. <laughs> I'm smearing lipstick everywhere. Sephora gift card, holly 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 oxen free. Sorry, I'm smearing lip gloss all and lipstick and oh. Okay, back to the paint brushes. <laughs> my God.